You know, unfortunately, we had a video that uh, you may have seen. I don't know if you saw it or not, but it was a New York uh, police officer getting doused with water as they were trying to interact with uh, someone. I don't know if there was an arrest going on and people were throwing water at the officer and all that. And Oh my God, they came over here to talk to them that they violated. Yo, they violated them. They violated them. No, they violated them. Oh, they not stopping. You know, you're looking at that and you're saying, oh my God, that, that is just, just terrible. And I, I think to myself, if you're a, a police officer who's out in the community, uh, you're dealing with these kinds of situations and so forth, and you see something like that, boy, it must just be so upsetting to see something like that. Well, what are your thoughts when you see a video like that? So I actually seen that video this afternoon. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's more than just a sign. That's a complete disgrace to treat men and women in uniform, putting their lives on the line every day, and to have a crowd. That was a mob, a yeah. mob disgracing not only those individuals, but what they stand for to protect them, to save their lives, because five minutes later, any one of those people that need the police were still going to respond. That's uh, absolutely disgraceful. I'm just so grateful that we don't have that here in New Bedford. Uh, you know, our community really appreciates our police officers, and I believe our police officers appreciates the people that we serve. So uh, I think the mayor of New York should stand up and, and not allow that and speak for the men and women at the department. Uh, you know, our officers are losing their lives. They're losing their lives on the street, they're losing their lives because of the stress. You know, you look at the police police industry today, the suicide rate is up. It's tough. It's a tough job. I mean, I, I you know, there's no doubt about it. And, you know, the other thing, too, is I know a lot of police officers and uh, uh, not as many as you. <laughs> but, <laughs> you but did when you were I, yeah, I, 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 no, please, uh, um, But, you know, I'm sure on occasion, too, when you there, there are times, unfortunately, where somebody gets on the force that probably shouldn't have and does something that they shouldn't. And I'm sure as a good police officer, you say to yourself, gee, I don't want to see that because that's what hurts us. You know, it's sort of like, you know, my wife's a school teacher, right? And a few years ago, um, a teacher got accused and charged with stealing money from the PTO. So my response is, get that teacher out of there. That doesn't mean I'm anti-teacher, <laughs> you know, because you just got somebody in there that was doing something terrible. So I'm sure, too, it's difficult. I'm sure for you, I, I don't even, I can't even imagine. But when you do see a situation where the officer was in the wrong, right? What, what is the response of the good officer? Is that upsetting to you also? Like, how do you, how, what do you feel about that? Well, absolutely. For me personally, that really upsets me as much because yeah, right, right. we have so many wonderful men and women doing the right thing yeah, every right. single day when nobody's even looking, right? Yeah. They're going into a house, there's a house break, they're checking the house, there's money, there's jewelry. They're doing the right thing every day. Or that kid that was playing basketball with that young man, he didn't think that anybody was going to take a photo, doing the right thing every single day, a tough job, right? So like any other profession, and I give this out all the time, we have the good, the bad, and we have the ugly. I don't care what profession there is, I don't think if you're talking about teachers, police, doctors, lawyers, clergy people, you're going to find in the human race, some people are going to infiltrate these professions that are just bad human beings or just make really bad decisions in their life. And that happens with us. We do a really good job in vetting people out. We're one of the only professions that we have our own internal affairs unit. We investigate our own. We hold them accountable. We discipline them. We terminate them. It's not making you a popular guy, but you need accountability and you need discipline because when you have one or two, they can spoil all the great work that all the other men and women are doing. So uh, we have a mechanism that deals with it, and we deal with it very effectively. I mean, you know professions out there, if I was a doctor, let's say, right, and I can still practice medicine in another state, even if I mess up here in Massachusetts. Yeah, right. You get terminated from being a law enforcement police officer, I don't care, local, state, or federal, good luck trying to break into that profession somewhere else. It's just not going to happen. Yeah, right, right.